It smells good. You're late. Yeah, I know. Got stuck in a meeting all afternoon. Yeah, like always. I had to cook today as well. Really? You're gonna take a beer now? So what? Maybe I need some help around here. You can at least ask if I need help before you sit down and have a beer. Jesus. I've been working all week and it's finally the weekend. Can't I just sit for one minute in a sofa and enjoy a beer without you starting this shit again? Shit? Then you should find someone else to clean and cook for you because I'm getting real tired of being the only one in this household that gives a darn. Yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe then I won't be yelled at all day long. Yelled at? You call this yelling when I'm talking to you? I can start yelling so you'll know the difference. I don't really care what you do. I have stopped listening to your bullshit. This is the reason our marriage is falling apart. Because you can't take responsibility. No. The reason is that you can't relax for one second. You always find something to nag about. I can relax, but lately it's been kind of hard to do that when you come home late every day and the first thing you do is grab a beer and lay down on the couch. That's because I work 10 hour days, 5 days a week to support us. When you only do your stupid hobby that barely makes any money at all. So, I am so sorry that I need to chill out a bit when I come home and not do 10 things on your stupid to-do list. My hobby is not stupid and maybe if you didn't have such a small dick You'd realize that. And work 10 hours, my ass. You sit in meetings half the day and talk shit to other shitheads. Maybe if you wouldn't be such a bitch. My dick would probably dance around trees. But you, you can't help it. That you are a crazy, stupid bitch. Don't you ever call me a bitch. You don't get to call me that. You are a loser who will never achieve anything. Do you hear me? A big loser. That's what you are. If your power goes out, remain calm and assist family members or neighbors who may be vulnerable if exposed to extreme heat or cold. Locate a flashlight with batteries to use until power comes back on. Do not use candles, as this can cause a fire. Turn off sensitive... I'm Sergeant Collins, and this is Detective Bailey. We're here to investigate the disappearance of your wife. May we come in? So when was the last time you saw your wife? I haven't seen her in... three days. Is that normal for you? Well, uh, sometimes uh, she visits friends and stay there for a while. But have you had any contact with her in any of those three days? No. Is there any problems in your marriage? Not more than anyone else, I guess. But why haven't you called the police? As I said, I thought she was with her friends, so uh, I wasn't worried. You don't seem to care either. Have you ever hurt your wife? No. Never. Does your wife ever leave home without her phone? No, she uh, always take her phone with her. Strange. Yes, that's strange. Because we checked her phone's location and it said that she was in this area for the last three days. Okay. 
That is weird. Well, what concerns me even more is what we found outside next to your garbage can. So if we run the blood and check the DNA on this ring, your wife's not gonna pop up, right? Because if she does, you're gonna be our favorite prime suspect. <laughs>